In this question, we're told that a scientist has 1,070 grams of gold, AU, and 160 grams of chlorine, Cl2, and wants to make as much gold-1 chloride, AuCl, as possible. Our first step here is going to be balancing our equation for this reaction so that we can use that to figure out how much of our product will be made. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out my table to help me figure that out. I've got my elements, I've got my reactants, and I've got my products. My elements are Au, which is gold, and Cl, which is chlorine. Okay, so on my reactant side, initially I have one Au and two Cls. On the product side, I have one Au and one Cl. Okay, so to start with, it looks like my Au, my gold, is balanced, but my Cl isn't. I've got two on the reactant side on the left and only one on the products. So I'm gonna add two sets of my product in the hopes that that will help balance it out. So I'm gonna redo my calculations now that I've made that change. So I still have one AU and two Cl in my reactants. Now in my products, I have two sets of AUCl. So I've got two AU and two Cl. Okay, so now my chlorine looks balanced, but my gold AU isn't. I need more in the reactants. So I'm gonna go and add now a two on my AU, and I think that should balance it, but let's just count to check to make sure. So I've now got two AU in my reactants and two Cl. I've got two sets of AUCl in my products, so two AU and two Cl. Wonderful, so my AU is balanced, my Cl is balanced. This is my balanced equation. So I can go and fill those answers into my answer boxes now. I've got two AU, one Cl2, and two AUCl. Wonderful, okay. So that's our first step balancing our equation. Our next step is figuring out how many moles of each substance are present at the beginning. Now I'm told the grams of gold and the grams of chlorine. So I'm gonna to need to convert each of those from grams into moles. So I'm gonna to need to convert this to moles of Au, and we need to convert this to moles of Cl2. And remember, when we're converting between grams and moles, the molar mass is going to be our conversion factor. So let's go ahead and look at our periodic table. Here's Au, which is gold, and here's Cl, which is chlorine. Gold has a relative atomic mass of 196.97. Chlorine has a relative atomic mass of 35.45. So gold has a relative atomic mass of 196.97 grams per mole. Chlorine has a relative atomic mass of 35.45 grams per mole. Okay, so let's convert the gold first. Now for gold, it's just AU in the uh, formula. There's nothing else, there's no two, there's no other elements. So my molar mass for gold is exactly the same as the relative atomic mass I've just written down. So that tells me that one mole of AU equals 196.97 grams of AU. So there's my conversion factor for gold. For chlorine, I've got two chlorines in my formula, Cl2. So I'm going to need to do two sets of chlorine, which is two sets of 35.45 which gets me a molar mass of 70.90 grams per mole. So that's telling me that one mole of Cl2 is equal to 70.90 grams of Cl2. So there's my other conversion factor that I'll use for converting the chlorine. Okay, so let's go ahead and do those conversions now. So I start with 1,070 
grams of AU. I want to convert that into moles of AU. Let's draw a dimensional analysis table. I want to have grams of AU on the bottom and moles of AU on the top since I'm trying to convert into moles. I'm going to have one mole of AU for my conversion factor is equal to 196.97 grams of AU. My grams of AU are then going to cancel out. I'm going to end up with 1070 multiplied by one mole AU divided by 196.97. That gets me 5.43 moles of AU. Okay, so I can fill that into my answer box here. Next, I'll convert my chlorine. From the question, I'm giving 160 grams of Cl2. So I'll go ahead and do my dimensional analysis table. So I'm putting grams of Cl2 on the bottom and moles of Cl2 on the top, since that's what I want to get into. And then I'm using my conversion factor. One mole of Cl2 is equal to 70.90 grams of Cl2. So the grams of Cl2 cancel on the top and the bottom. And that gives me 160 multiplied by one mole of Cl2 divided by 70.90, which gives me an answer of 2.26 mole of Cl2. So I can fill that in my answer box here. Awesome. Okay. So we've done all this work and we've managed to figure out how many moles of gold and how many moles of Cl2 we have. So now I know how many moles of each substance I have present, I need to figure out which is the limiting reactant. So to do that, I'm gonna take one of my reactants, it doesn't matter which one I choose, and I'm going to figure out how much of the other reactant would I need to react completely with that amount. So I'm going to take the moles of chlorine. I'm going to figure out how much gold would I need to react completely with 2.26 moles of chlorine. So I'm going to go ahead and do my conversion. 2.26 moles of Cl2. I want to convert that into moles of gold that I would need. So looking at my equation, I've got two moles of gold here. I've got one mole of Cl2 here. So that tells me that two moles of AU gives one mole of Cl2. So that's my conversion factor. So if I had two moles of gold and one mole of Cl2, then they would react completely with each other. We wouldn't have anything left over. Okay, so let's use that now in our dimensional analysis table. I'm putting moles of Cl2 on the bottom because I want that to cancel out and moles of gold on the top because that's what I'm trying to find. And I had one mole of Cl2 goes to two moles of gold. Now I can cancel the moles of Cl2 and I end up with 2.26 multiplied by two moles AU divided by one. And that gives me an answer of 4.52 moles of AU. So I would need 4.52 moles of AU to react fully. Okay, so given 2.26 moles of Cl2, I would need 4.52 moles of AU. However, I have more than that. I have 5.43 moles of AU. So I could react all of my chlorine with that gold and still have some left over. So the limiting reactant, that's the one that we do not have enough of. And in this question, I don't have enough chlorine to react with all that gold because I can tell I would have gold left over after all the chlorine was reacted. So that tells me the chlorine is the limiting reactant in this question. So chlorine is our limiting reactant. 
Okay, our final step is to figure out the theoretical yield of gold one chloride. To find the theoretical yield, I'm taking my limiting reactant, which is chlorine. I'm using the amount of that reactant to figure out how much of our product would be made. So I'm starting with my limiting reactant, which was 2.26 moles of Cl2. And I want to figure out how many moles of AuCl would I need. So I'm going to go to my equation. I'm looking at moles of Cl2 and moles of AuCl. And I'm using that for my conversion factor. So one mole of Cl2 gives two moles of AuCl. So that is my conversion factor I'm going to use now in my dimensional analysis. So I'll draw my dimensional analysis table. So I'm putting moles of Cl2 on the bottom because I want those to cancel out and moles of AuCl on the top because that's what I'm trying to find. We have one mole of Cl2 goes to two moles of AuCl. So I'm now cancelling out my moles Cl2 on the top and the bottom and I'm left with 2.26 times two moles of AuCl divided by one. And that gives me 4.52 mole of AuCl. So I can fill that in my answer box down here. Okay, awesome. So we found our moles of gold one chloride in our theor theoretical yield. The final step is to convert that into grams. So we've got our 4.51 moles of AuCl and I want to get into grams of AuCl. So I'm going to need to find my molar mass of AuCl. In AuCl I have one Au and one Cl. So that's going to be one times 196.97 plus one times 35.45. That gets me a molar mass of 232.42 grams per mole. And that means that 232.42 grams of AUCL is equal to one mole of AUCL. So that's going to be my conversion factor I now use in my dimensional analysis. So I'm putting moles of AuCl on the bottom and grams of AuCl on the top since that's what I'm trying to get into. And using my conversion factor which is that one mole of AuCl equals 232.42 grams of AuCl. My moles of AuCl cancel top and bottom. I'm left with 4.51 times 232.42 grams of AuCl divided by 1, which gets me a theoretical yield of 1,049 grams of AuCl. So I can fill that in here. Okay, wonderful. So there's a lot of steps going on in this question. Our first step is to balance our equation. Then we're taking the grams of our reactants provided in the question, finding their molar mass using the periodic table and using that to convert them from grams into moles. Next, once I have the moles, I'm taking one of them, one of the reactants of my choice and doing a calculation to see how much of the other reactant would I need to react fully with that and then use that to figure out which is my limiting reactant. That's the one that I do not have enough of. Then, finally, I use the limiting reactant and convert it to find the theoretical yield of the product in moles, and lastly, convert that from moles into grams. So lots of steps in this equation. I recommend making sure you're confident on the previous skill and confident on all the moles skills from the moles unit before you attempt these problems.